me put it on speakerphone now. Hey, Facebook Live. Um, as usual, this is the Sunday night compound crew live um, role playing type training call. Our our training call, our team call, so to speak, is not like motivation because we have a lot of great leaders in the company that already do that so there's no need for me to duplicate it and so we just jump right in and we do a lot of role playing so that when um, the compound crew is in the streets talking on the phone with people that they meet on social media or anything like that that they feel uh, I'm not gonna say 100% confident because 100% is a lot <laughs> but they feel pretty doggone confident uh, because they've been there, done that kind of sorta, and I am the hardest person to role play with. Anybody who is new to my team will tell you, you feel much better after role playing with me because, really, pretty much no one is as bad as me. <laughs> so anyway, Candy B. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you clearly. So what we're gonna do tonight, y'all, is we're gonna have. Candace Boardroom Brown, and hopefully for all of you that are in my primary company or whatever company you are in, um, you want to have your team, oh, it says my connection is weak, why? I don't know. You want to have your team role play um, given a launch call. So Candy P, we've already had Ashley do hers. She did outstanding. Um, Ashley has done a role play and a live one, like a real, real one for another team member. Um, and this is how you duplicate your team, guys. So now Candy B is going to practice hers. This is uh, the compound cruise. No, eh, oh, hold on. Somebody is saying no Spanish. No, esta no está en español. Lo siento. Pero alguna vez. Es, es una llamada para mi equipo. All right, so y'all, um, we're going to have Candy B go through her launch call tonight. Um, you want to have your team practicing this so that when so that you don't have to do everything so that you can actually duplicate so i'm going to introduce candace boardroom brown this is a general introduction that you guys can use for anybody we're going to go through this all the way from start to finish candace your goal is like 20 20 minutes will be great but no more than 30. okay cool all right hey what's going on kenneth estes all right so here we go um, the, the, the chimes are coming in, right, Candace? Ding, 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 whatever. Hey, everybody, welcome to the call. This is how you welcome people. All right, all right, all right. All right, so guys, the hour is now 9 o'clock. What we're going to do is go ahead and jumpstart this call. My name is Kimberly Kwamina, coming to you out of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a director with this wonderful company, Total Life Changes, also known as TLC, and I am so very honored tonight to introduce to you a wonderful young leader who is doing really really great things in the Atlanta market as well I have the pleasure of working with this young lady who is a very loving and doting mother to two young boys that happen to be twins but guys even though her hands are full with her boys she never has any excuses she's always out there doing online marketing offline marketing you name it she's doing it she's not shy at all she likes to have fun makes people laugh smile and really truly understands the mission of this company she is in alignment with this mission with the mission of this company and has already helped so many people achieve outstanding results with numerous products that we offer this young lady is well on her way to becoming a director which means that from the comfort of her home she will be doing at a minimum 2,000 in volume from her home on a weekly basis. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you have a pen and paper handy because this young lady has all of the information and she's going to give it to you tonight and I promise you, you will want to take notes on it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring Miss Candace Boardroom Brown to the line. Miss Brown, are you on the line? Yes, Miss Cuomo, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Take it away. Thank you so much. Ms. Cuomo, thank you so much for those amazing words. You know, it just really makes my heart melt when I hear those type of things. And you are an amazing leader as well. And I want to say good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you guys so much for um, taking the time out of your busy schedules to get on this call tonight. And if you guys don't know why you're here, you know, truly, I believe everyone has a purpose. You know, my purpose is to help others, uh, help and inspire others. But also, about three months ago, guys, my life was totally changed because I said yes. Now, why I say yes is because I was sick and tired of being 
being broke and broke. And also, um, I was not supposed to have a pressure at a young age. You know, drinking the IOSO tea, it has maintained my blood pressure. And not only that, I have went from 100 milligrams to 50 milligrams. And I'm not making any medical claims here, okay? So, guys, enough about me. Let me tell you about total life changes. Let me tell you about this amazing company. It was created, created by our CEO, Jack Fallon, 16 years ago. And it has been in the U.S. over two years now. And he started in his basement, uh, which is, oh, my gosh, when I say I totally love a Nutriburst. It is a liquid vitamin that contains 72 minerals, 19 uh, amino acids, and 22 fruits and vegetables. You take uh, one teaspoon a day, which is equivalent to 10 salads a day. Now, how many of you eat 10 salads a day? I don't. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I, and the next is my favorite, and I just told you guys about the Yalto Tea. Okay. This is our flagship product. It is known as Lose 5 Pounds in 5 Days. Okay. It is not a weight loss tea. It is a detox tea. Okay. It removes toxins and parasites from your body. You know, it cleans your body out. So once you get all that bad stuff out, you got to put the good stuff back in with the new Nutribirth, okay? So, guys, the next product, and it's something that I purchased uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it is so phenomenal for my skin. It is the MU oil. I love this oil so much because I have dry skin, and lotion does not cut it for me, not even that shea butter. I don't like to smell that shea butter, okay? So you, you can also use this oil for a uh, pain, ache, toothache. Uh, I use I used it the other day. Um, my son had a rash under his lip, and when I tell you, I didn't see any more all those the little red blemishes and all that stuff. So, um, and then also, you know, Beyonce, if you got to her amazing flawless skin, she used in you all too, but it's not our in you all. So, our next product is a strike up in love. Okay, and this is for the married couple. Okay, we have strike up for men, and we have love for the ladies. It enhances your sexual performance, which brings life back into the bedroom. You know, sometimes things don't go right in the bedroom when you're married because of financial problems, health problems, all kind of things. So, you know, if you want to get the life back, you want to get the marriage back in the groove, and I've heard so many amazing testimonies on this strike up in love. And next slide, we have something that is called an NRG. Who out there needs energy? I know I need energy, especially you know, if you're a parent, I have those twin boys, and they run around like crazy every single day. So I need that extra boost, right? So the NRG is an all-natural product, and um, you take two capsules in the afternoon, and oh my gosh, you get your happy bag. And we actually call this a happy pill because it makes you feel so energized, okay? And guys, I can go on and on about these amazing products. We have coffee, garments, uh, amazing skin care line as well. But, guys, I want to let you know that let's, the next topic is let's talk about the number one comp plan. We have the number one comp plan in the world. We were voted about a month ago the number one comp plan in the world. These products are so amazing. You know, I decided to monetize from them. And, guys, we get paid five ways. And before I start getting to the comp plan, I want to let you know that I want to let you know that I'm not making any income claims here. Okay, so the first way we get started is retailing, okay? We get paid for telling stories. Guys, uh, I go out, my business partner and I, we go out and we talk to people, okay? I may have five bags of tea in my purse, and I'm telling you there's never been a time when I haven't came back home with money, right? If I go home, if I leave without money, uh, I'll go back with, without any money if I don't bring my tea. So everywhere I go, I make sure I have my products because I monetize from them. Because most people think in this industry that you have to talk to so many people, but in TLC, you don't have to do that for the life changes. You most definitely can start by reselling. Uh, you, like I said, to the family. You can get monetized from them and then just going out talking to the strangers. Okay, so the second way we get paid is the fast start song. Okay, you get 50% 50, 50 commission. Um, when you give someone your web website, you get a referral, okay, it's like, it's pretty much like uh, once you can even become a customer from this and get 50% as well. Also, 
say for example, once you get, um, like say for example, if you're gonna, uh, you sponsor your your sister or your brother. Okay, say if they come in with a hundred dollar package or a two hundred dollar package, you will get, you will earn fifty percent from that. And who in the world does not want to earn fifty percent? Okay, so our third way we get paid is our binary. Okay, and it allows you to get two people, two friends, two strangers, two co coworkers, uh, one on your left and one on your right. Okay, so. How many of you have referred someone to, I'm pretty sure it's something, the movies, Shutterfly? So it's, why not get paid for it, right? So the more you share, the better, okay? And you also get 10 to 25% on the lesser leg uh, on commission on um, on your activity, okay, that is taking place in your organization. Also, they'll put, in a, they'll put you in a position to earn 20k per week, and I know some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, 20k per week. That is insane. That is not how in the world. This is just too good to be true. But guys, I didn't believe it either until I started, and I not even started until I started hearing about these amazing tips. And not only hearing, I see, I see, right? And I follow these amazing leaders. Okay, so it can be done. And also, um, the fourth way we get paid is the uh, um, Check match, check match. I'm sorry. Um, once you introduce someone to the business, you will earn um, 50% in your binary. And also, the fifth way we get paid is um, the lifestyle bonus. You will earn $1,500 every month. And guys, I don't know about you, but me, I would love to get uh, to earn $1,500. You know, and just get it and bless someone. You know, think about that. And I know, guys, we don't really think about uh, with, with this uh, profession, we're like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. I can't do sales, da, da, da. But, guys, I want to let you know that I was a bashful person, and I won't change in order to do something different. You have to change your life. You have to do something different, right? And because there's, you know, there's times when we can't, we can't pay our bills, uh, our marriage is failing because of finances. So why not take that step? Why not take that step and do something different that's never done before? And, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, coming out once again and allowing me to uh, share this information with you on this call. And you guys have a good night, okay? Thank you. All right, Miss Candy B., how do you feel? I feel better because I was pretty nervous. <laughs> I know. This I mean, Christy, I thought I love Christy. Christy, what's awesome. going on? Oh, what is going on? Oh my gosh, Christy, I'm happy that you could join. So you you heard uh, most of the launch call. Um, I heard. Uh, I came on like just a minute or so before Candace started talking. So I heard her entire presentation and your introduction of her. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now, let me ask you this, Christy. What was your feedback? Um, I loved her energy. I thought that she spoke really clear and concise, which is sometimes hard to listen to people because, you know, we're like all over the country, and even technology is really good. Sometimes here where I'm at, it's hard to to really hear people on launch calls and team calls, and she came through loud and clear, so I was really happy about that. And, um, you know, the rest of the everything, I'm going to let you, you could talk to her about it because you just have done this so much longer than me. I thought she sounded really well, great product information, long explanation of the comp plan. It's good. Good, good, good. I just want to. She sounded great as well. This is Lisa. What's going on, Lisa? Leave hey, Lisa. Hey. <laughs> What's going on, this lady? I, I, hey, I didn't know if you were still recuperating from the beach. I'm so jealous. If I didn't love you, I would be hating oh, on God, you. Me too. <laughs> if I didn't love you, I'm I would so be hating jealous. on you. <laughs> I gotta take advantage of the hot months over here because. Not hot all year round. So. Well, you definitely are. All right. So, what's your feedback? Any feedback for Candace? No, I mean I don't really, I don't have anything um, 
I think she found it good. She did a better job than I would have done, and she's been in it shorter than I have, so I need to get my stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It sounds like you're going to be on next week doing the launch call. I think that's the plan. Oh, Lord. I like so, that, yes. You know, Kim, I'm, I want to ask you a question while everybody's on the phone because I haven't done a whole lot of launch calls. I haven't been on a whole lot. Okay. But I was trying to listen to Candace from the standpoint of, if I don't know anything about this industry, anything about the product, mm. I don't know anything about anything, I would be totally like, what the heck is a binary? Or should we talk about that on a launch call, or is there another way to explain it? Because that whole binary thing, and you're going to get one on your right and one on your left, uh, yeah, I still I know I know exactly. Explain in person. I know exactly what you're saying, but you want them to know that they get paid one way on their job, and you know five ways over here. And you do want to get them started, kind of sort of acclimated to the lingo. And now a lot of people, even though they don't know what a binary necessarily means, they know that bi means two. Uh -huh. A lot of people know that. So when we go, the minute we say the word binary, we should do exactly like Candace da, did, which was explain. Now, what that means is that unlike your job where you produce everything that you're paid for, over here, it's you and your team. And when we say binary, you only have two teams, one on your left and one on your right. And so we'll explain it. And it's just like you're walking. So you don't want to be uneven when you're walking. It's the same thing over here. So you'll always put people in your teams, one on the left, one on the right, because that's the only place they can go. Therefore, everyone on the line should be excited because y'all are hearing about this information before her next launch call or his next launch call so you have an opportunity to basically position yourself a lot better than the people who are going to hear about it after you because they're either going to fall you have a 50 50 chance of these people falling on your side the next people the next person that hears about it so i would say something like you know definitely we want to get them acclimated to the lingo Definitely, we don't want to leave it out because if we say we have five ways that we get paid and then we only talk about two, they'll be like, well, what's the other ways? So we can kind of sort of glance over it. What will happen is most people aren't really too much worried about that. They just like the fact that it's five ways they can get paid here versus one. That's a great question, though. I know what you're saying because the first time that I heard it when I like was looking at one company that had a binary and then I was looking at another company that had a four by five, six matrix. And I was like, what? And I was just, like, blown away. I think the binary is a whole lot easier to understand than this whole matrix business. But most people are not going to get too caught up in that. What will happen is if they're interested at all, they'll call you later for that justification. And then you can let them know, hey, listen, I could explain this comp plan to you, but I promise you the best way to understand it is for you to get paid on it. And that's the truth. Okay. Here is how you get okay. paid on it. What we're going to focus on is two things. The retail, you getting your money back ASAP and making a profit, and you getting binary qualified. What that means is we're going to go activate your holding tank. I'll explain it to you later, or you can refer them to holdingtank.compoundcrew.com and let me explain it for you. Because if they watch those series of videos, they'll know exactly what the holding tank is and exactly how to activate it, right? So you're going to say, we're going to activate your holding tank, and then I want you to, you know, give your person, speak in terms of stories and analogies. Hey, if you were to open up a major corporation tomorrow and you were, you were assembling your board of directors, who are some of the first people that you would call to be like your cabinet, your crew, your group, your homies, your posse? Who would be your head honchos? Who would you look to for, you know, sound counsel and advice in running your corporation? And then out of those people that they name, those are the people that we should contact first about becoming a part of their dual team. Okay. Um, and then from there, once they start getting paid on the binary, they'll understand it. But no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave it out. I wouldn't go too far into it, but I wouldn't leave it out. So um, let me see here. Mm. Candace, do you know how long your um? How long your thing was? Um, I'm thinking it was about 15 because I think we got started at 909. And it's, when I looked at the clock, it was 920. Yeah. Yeah, I clocked you at 9. like 10 minutes. Yeah, I clocked you yeah. at 9 minutes. <laughs> yeah, because I was confused. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I'm not sure. I'm 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 like
cooking pasta for dinner and it needed to cook 10 minutes and it started and stopped when I put it in the pot. <laughs> There's, but you know what though? I'm happy. Like even when I, I wrote down the time that you started, I put that you technically started at 912 because I did it after my, after my introduction and I put that you ended at 921. So yeah, like nine minutes. Um, I'm happy that it didn't seem like nine minutes. Like you weren't talking super fast. You didn't, you weren't even as, don't take this the wrong way, but you weren't even as country as you normally are <laughs> <laughs> with your accent. I mean, with your accent, cause you know, your accent is strong. So that was good because a lot of people can understand. I was like, who is this? Who is this chick? Um, but you came through loud and clear. I would, what that means though, is that I would put more stuff in there. I would beef it up some because I would, I would at least get it to 15 minutes. Okay. I would. Oh, and, and when the way you would get it to 15 minutes is not by putting more product info in there, but I noticed that I'm going to, I'm going to go into my notes first. Let me start by saying this. First of all, kudos to you. Kudos to you, Candy B, because I told you that tonight would be your night to come on and do the launch call. You could have not come on the call tonight. Like, I'm not ready. You made no excuses, as you never do, and you just got on the line to do it. Um, and you did great because it is hard, and I purposefully did not stop you, did not make any noise, did not do anything but take notes. It is, it's, how did it feel? Because it's a diff to me, it's a different feeling to go and do a launch call all the way through and have nobody interacting with you and it's like you're just talking to yourself. How did yeah, you? Yeah, I thought, I was, I was nervous, but I was getting in the flow. And then I was, yes. another thing with me, I was counting so much of the time, I was like, cause I wanted to say more, but I didn't want to start reading. Okay, so that that's cool. You did good. Just the fact that you did not stop not one time and say, can I start over? That's huge. I don't think you really get how huge that is. So that is good. I like, like Christy said, I like your intonation. I like your rhythm, your pace, your tone. And I like your diction. Very good. Do not change that. Now, let's get into the things that we need to improve upon. I noticed when I started, it's funny that, what did you just say? Oh, I didn't say anything. No, what did you just say? I didn't say anything. I think she said okay. Yes, that's what she uh, said, Christy. So that brings me to my first point. You say okay a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Candace, I say so a lot. <laughs> you say so? Okay, and my word is like. I say so. <laughs> my word is like. I say like. I don't know how many times, but I try to stop saying like, and I'm like, like, you know, so like, 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 Candace, once I noticed that that was your go-to word when you get nervous or when there's a pause and you don't like it, I started counting it. And from the time that I started counting, which is about, I don't know, you, oof. If we had gone in the call a little bit, I would have to go back and watch it to get a true count. But I counted that you said, okay, 5, 10, 15, 19 times. <laughs> what? 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 This is, but that's good though. I'm making you aware. I'm making you aware of it. Um. So, okay is your go-to word. Christy's go-to word is so... My go-to word is like. Now that you are aware of this, you can find, trust me, don't be scared to just have silence. Now, on the, a launch call, when you're supposed to like go, 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 that is a little awkward. But you want to rein in those okays a little bit, okay? okay. And then I say okay. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Right, right. Right. And that's my other word, right. I'll be like, right, 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 right. And I'll do it like repeatedly. Um, but when you say the thing about the emu oil, I would not say that, you know, Beyonce uses emu oil. She doesn't use ours, but she does use emu because then intuitively your, your audience is going to be like, well, why does she use y'all's? So you just lost them in the conversation. You don't ever want to present something to people for them to ponder or think about instead of what you are saying. 
So I would just say even all of the wonderful product, Beyonce uses it. And I have noticed since I've been using it, da 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 Does that make sense? Right, yeah. Or you can just leave the whole Beyonce part out, period. But you can, or, uh, or you can say something. That's what I just wrote in my notes. I just wrote that in my notes. Yeah, but the minute you say she doesn't use ours, people will be like, why not? You know, it's just an instinct that we have. That's a good point. We are trained to be skeptical. We are trained to ask questions. We are trained to be like, mm-hmm, you trying to get over on me. So anything that you say that, that triggers that response that they're kind of sort of subconsciously looking for, they will hold on to. And now you just lost them for the rest of the conversation because they're like, well, if their company's so good, why don't Beyonce use theirs? Blah, 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 blah. So, um, yeah, I would leave that out. Now, on the product info, I would get get a better flow of the product info info because you were a little bit jumpy around. I think you started with the flagship product, then you went to like I think emu oil or Nutriburst. I don't know. I would have to play it back. I just remember to myself that the flow was a little bit off. A flow that I recommend to everyone is you 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 start the launch call right, and you talk about we're founded by Jack Fallon. We've been in the U.S. for over 15 years. Our headquarters is in Michigan. This is a very humble man who started with humble beginnings. As a matter of fact, he's his first product he created in his basement, and it was the Nutriburst. I always start with the Nutriverse because that was the first product. So why shouldn't it be the first product in our presentation? And then I talk about all the uh -huh. benefits of a Nutriverse. And then and then I say, now, although Nutri... And you want to have segues because I noticed a little bit, Candace, and when you watch the replay on Facebook, you'll notice it too. The only time I could sense that, whoa, she's a little... Woo, was in your transitions because there was no transition. You were just like, okay, so now we're going to talk about... <laughs> So what you would want to do in that sense is you want to think about how you transition into each thing. So with your Nutriburst, it's natural to start with that because that was the first product he created. Now when you get done talking about the Nutriburst and you give a story testimonial, right, then you can go into, now although Nutriburst was, was, is, is the company's first product, it's not our most popular product. That would be our, our flagship product, which is the Ayaso T. Does that make sense? Okay. Right. So, <laughs> so then when you talk, so then when you should say yes. <laughs> so then when you talk about the Ayaso T, now for me, I I always personally I do Nutriburst T and I and uh, NRG because those are the things that most people start. That the price points are easiest for people. All of those are forty five dollars, forty five fifty dollars. Those are the price price points that most people are feel most comfortable starting with that is actually a package that first package um the Nutriburst Ayaso T and the NRG that is that's the energy kit so you can say you know we had our first product but this is not our it's not our most popular one our most popular one is the Ayaso T now if you take the Nutriburst and the Ayaso T and pair it with our uh, another popular product the NRG that that's called our energy kit now how many of you could not use extra energy I can't think of one person you guys know numerous you will not name these drinks but you'll say you guys there's so many drinks out there that people are filling their bellies with and they're loading themselves up with these artificial sweeteners and sugars and just all types of bad stuff that may give them temporary in energy, and I mean very temporary energy, but it also packs on the pounds. Well, with our all-natural NRG capsules, you don't have to worry about any of that. There's going to be no crash and burn, da 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 So I like the NRG because whether you're a student, whether you're a parent, whether you're a cop, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a firefighter, whether you're a truck driver, there are so many people, whether you work third shift, whether you work the day shift, it doesn't matter. There are so many people nowadays that are not getting their sleep. And even if they get it, it's not a good rest. You know why? Because half of them have heartburn, indigestion, all, all these types of things from eating crappy food. So the NRG capsules will get them started right in the day and have them lasting through the night if they work the night. So I would do Nutriburst tea, NRG, then I would mention our other products just like you did hey if you need to lose weight immediately you can give the appearance of having lost weight with our wonderful phenomenal body garments we also have a, a phenomenal line just an awesome line of teas and hot chocolate and co i mean coffees and hot chocolate including cappuccino latin style doesn't matter what you want pretty much we have it um we have a wonderful skincare line our flagship product our, well not don't say flagship 
our most popular skincare product is the emu oil. That's why I would bring in the emu oil. You know what I'm saying? So I would have like, a, I would group products together instead of jumping around. And I would definitely end up with the strike up in the love. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but just make sure you group your things together. Don't go from Nutriburst to Emu Oil back to the T to strike up and then mention everything else. Does that make sense? Uh huh. Have some type of flow. Um, I already told you to say more stories. And my last and final point is um, you did wonderfully. You didn't flub. You didn't. F any you mess up you didn't seem nervous like i didn't hear your nerves in your throat but there was one point when you said something and you paused and you said i'm sorry and then you said whatever it was you want and i, I wanted to, i said that that was a little bit awkward only because you they i don't know the presentation if i'm listening i don't know the presentation i don't know you messed up so you are the only one that knows you messed up so now when you go i'm sorry i'm like what is she sorry for I'm telling you, it's all these little psychological, you have a very short period of time with people, and I don't want to make you paranoid about it, but I do want to give you little tips and tricks for you to think about. Anytime you mess up, and, and if you feel like you acknowledge it, because you guys know I trip over my words all of the time. Oh, I know what it was. You said, we have something called a check, another way we get paid is a checkmate. And then you're like, I'm sorry, check match. So I would have just said, excuse me. Anytime you want to say, I'm sorry, just say, excuse me. Okay. Excuse me is much better than I'm sorry. And that's all my notes. Don't kill me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, my. But I'm so proud of you. I think that was awesome and amazing. I think you did a great job. I'm happy you came prepared on the line tonight. And guys, I'm telling you, just lengthen it out. Put more stories in there. You might want to mention that the Nutriverse is good for... Um, it's a great multi liquid multivitamin for expectant mothers, also for children. Um, I would try to touch on different things. I would have like a testimonial from a woman, a testimonial from a man, and then a testimonial from a kid or something like that. Okay. Um, so that that way you cover the gamut because that really gets people um, thinking. Okay. Uh, next, I think that's it for the launch call. So guys, what I want everybody to do, Lisa Lee will do, excuse me, whew, Lisa Lee will do the launch call next week. I'm super excited about that. Lisa Lee should be as well because it is her time. I've been noticing her stepping up her game with the um, social media presence. You have retracted back from doing videos, Lisa Lee. I don't know why. The beach is a great place for you to do a video. You chilling at the beach. Why not pop on your Facebook Live right quick and be like, so guys, hello. I thought about it. I was going to do it. Oh, thinking about it doesn't count. Time. I'm going to do it next time. I promise. Yeah. I'm, I'm confused. I thought Lisa was doing her launch call tomorrow night. Lisa? Yeah, but I'm not speaking on it. It's my launch call, but I'm not doing it. Um, Ashley's going to um do the presentation. I'm just going to um, bring everybody on the line. It's the launch call okay. is for me, but she's doing the presentation. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I was just confused there for a second. Yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. And um, who's, who's doing your launch call, Lisa? Ashley's doing it. Cool. Oh, that's right. Monday I'm night. Talking, and I'm talking about emu oil for you. Yes. Awesome sauce. All right. Awesome. So, so um, for Lisa, yes. Do you have the, um, I can't remember, I don't know the name of it, but you remember the audio um, from the launch on 4th of July when they had, it was every hour on the hour, um, Ashley has that on her YouTube channel if you want to go and listen to the other, call, to the um, leaders. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's what I did. I just listened to probably like, I think it's like 12, I listened to probably Okay. Yeah, y'all, when I was in my last company, the way that I, I got to learn how to do launch calls, and I got this from another leader. He said he would literally get on every single launch call every single day. They had an opportunity to call at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock. He said he would get on both. And he actually wrote down verbatim what each, per each person would say. And then right after the call was over, he would practice it straight through himself that's a lot i never wrote it down but what i did what i would used to do in that previous company is i would listen to the launch the launch calls twice a day 
and after launch call was over, I would pra- I would just practice in my in my head myself from memory. I never wanted to rely on a flip chart or notes or anything like that. Not that it's bad, but just what if you're in a um an area somebody on Facebook said they do that too. That's perfect. That's awesome. Good for you. But um not that it's bad to have notes. It's definitely not. But what if you're in a blackout? There, I mean, there have been stories of people who had to do a launch call and they lost all their electricity and they sitting in the dark. All they had was their phone. Um, and I just like the fact of, I feel like when you have notes, you feel almost chained to your notes. So it can be really easy with notes to say, oh man, I lost my place. I have literally heard people saying that when they have notes. So I just like the freedom of talking from my heart, not so much from my head and, and having triggers right segues and triggers and having a natural flow that is unique to me or personalized to me that reminds me what my next topic is does that make sense yeah good because i want each one of you to develop triggers for yourself as well but i'm telling you just listen to one launch call a day and take bits and pieces. You're going to hear each leader say something different. You don't have to do it exactly like one person and just that one person. And you definitely don't have to do it exactly like me. But I would take bits and pieces that resonate with me. or And I think that would resonate with other people. And I would incorporate. I would string it together to make my own presentation. And then, you know, you know what I like to say. Put your stank on it. Right? Your vibe. Your flow. Your your whatever Lisa Lee isms, your Candy B isms, your Christy isms, put that on there. Um, but definitely, this is something, guys, that you can practice in the shower, you can practice in the car, you can practice it literally anywhere, you can practice it in your head. But I would, I would move my mouth too and just utter the words, just utter words, because sometimes what's in your head doesn't come out of your mouth. I know it all the time. That's how I end up rambling on a video, because <laughs> my head is moving too fast, uh, way faster than my mouth. So, um, yeah, this launch call process, the reason why I'm hammering on this, although it takes up most of our team training call, is for two reasons. Um, Number one, it's going to make you guys uh, more confident in yourself. Not many people can speak for 30 minutes and do a presentation, especially top of dome, top of mind, off the cuff of their whatever. Um, Not many people can do that. And once you do that, I don't care whether it's your first time, your second time, the more you do it, the better you get, the more confident you are going to be, even when you're not doing a launch call. Do you understand that? When you go up to a prospect now and just talk to them, you're automatically just going to be more confident because you are doing what the leaders do. Okay? And the second reason why we are really hammering these launch calls is because I expect mass- massive growth out of the Compound Crew. I am extremely ecstatic about our newest member, Archie, who just came on. We had a long talk last night um, just because it was late. And, hey, it was just the vibe was there. He speaks our language. He gets it. He doesn't play to um, he doesn't play small at all. He's actually trying to work things out, hopefully, to come to Atlanta the next weekend. Um, which would be amazing. But Candace Ballroom Brown, I, I challenged her. I said, you are a leader and you need to go get somebody that you don't know that's not a family member. Get them to join the business with her. And she rose to the challenge like nobody's business. When I say don't recruit a person, focus on recruiting a circle of influence, y'all. Candace will tell you that conversation that the three of us had last night and the things that we talked about, which that is going to be something that we will be discussing, how you guys do a three-way call because I want everybody to feel 100% confident. Take people, don't be afraid to take people by the hand and lead them down the path to closing them. They want to be closed if they got on a three-way call. Trust me. They just don't know they want to be closed. And a lot of people live in a day and age where they don't have they don't have to make too many decisions. They usually have decisions made for them. Okay? So it is up to you to become very, very skilled at, at uh, presenting the value of what we have to people and showing them how it can improve their situation, their life. Um, Archie is a businessman, has a ses- successful business. He immediately got it. And Candace will tell you, that conversation was so easy. It was so e- It was so much easier than speaking to someone. And guess what? He doesn't need the money. But that conversation was so much easier than speaking to someone who does need the money. Wasn't it, Candace? Yes. Yeah. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
something in my mouth. Oh, you had, oh, you eating? <laughs> yes, I was eating. Yes. I am eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, back me up, Candace. Stop. But yeah, y'all, it was so much yeah, easier. It, it really was much easier, though. It really was. Yeah. So, so guys, don't judge people. Don't think they don't need it because half the time the ones that need it, they won't see it. And half the times the ones who don't need it, they don't need it, but they understand business. And they have a bigger purpose than just money. What I like about Candace's newest member is that his mission, because guys, I'm telling you right now, if you get somebody on your team and they're just doing it because they need to pay their rent, they need to make some money. They're not going to be here for long because you can sell, you know, I say it all the time. You can sell angel food cake on weekend and make money, right? So if they're only here for the money, then any shiny object that comes along that says, hey, money over here. Y'all seen that um, insurance guy commercial where they have the fishing pole and he'd be like, hey, here's a dollar. He, oh, too slow, too slow. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Somebody know what I'm talking no, about. I no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Isn't it funny, Lisa? Right? He has the fishing. He has the fishing pole. I'm going to look it up on YouTube and I'm going to put it on the thread so y'all can see it. Because nobody should not know this commercial. It's hilarious. But he's like, you know, they're like, oh, my insurance guy pays me money. And the insurance guy pops up and just gives him money. And so he's like, where's my insurance guy? The other person's like, Where? and this old man appears with a fishing rod. He's like, here's a dollar. Can you catch it? Can you catch it? It's just like that. It'll be just like that with your teammate. If they're only here for the money, then anytime somebody dangles money in front of them, regardless of whether they can catch it or not, they'll be like, you know, it'll be just like Jim Rohn said, the birds, the birds got them. <laughs> and now they left the field. So, Y'all laughing at me, but it's the truth. But you got to make sure that your team member, yes, wanting money is great, but you also have to make sure that they, their vision is in alignment somewhere they have to want to help people so if they start as a customer and they have a personal experience with this product and now they're like i'm gonna tell everybody anyway because it's so great that is what you want if y'all saw jamelia okay the young lady with the red hair who did an awesome testimonial for me on friday it's on my facebook live and my youtube channel Jamelia did an awesome testimonial in one month. I think it's been like one month. She's ordered from me three times. She said the tea helps her voice, helps her to lose weight, helps her with a whole bunch of other stuff and some other health issues she has going on. And Jamelia is now like, I want to talk to you because I have some referrals. That is the type of person you want. I didn't even know this girl was um was a singer who's about to go on tour next, like in a month. I had no idea until I sat down and spoke with her on this last delivery. Um, but yeah, you never know who you're talking to. You want to talk to people that have a circle of influence. Once she told me she was a singer, my thing, and, and her song is great, side note, y'all know I ramble, but once she told me that, my thing wasn't like, oh my gosh, you're a singer, everybody, and I told her, I said, girl, when you told me that you were singing, everybody's a singer in Atlanta, I kind of just, it didn't, she said, I know, I know, but she was a real singer, so I start, I'm immediately thinking about everybody who she's on tour with, how much energy they're going to need, how much they're going to be running, they're going to need Nutriburst, NRG, the whole shebang, right? So that's the type of, of person you want on your team, a Jamelia. You want an Archie. You want a, a, a Christy. You want a Candace Boardroom Brown. You want a Lisa Lee. You want people who, I'm telling you, the quality of your team depends on the quality of you advertising your opportunity. If you tell people, oh, it's easy, the product sells itself, don't be mad when you get somebody like, what? I got to talk? You mean I got to talk? <laughs> and then you'll be like, how else, how else will people know about the product? Um, so, yeah, don't be mad if you get lazy people. If you advertise that they don't have to do anything. You don't want those people. What you want is you want business-minded people who understand and love leverage or have a vested interest in the products and they can learn leverage later. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, any other questions? Thanks for the feedback. I think that was Candace. You said thanks for the feedback. And was that Christy that came out too? Yep, I said no questions here. Thank you. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, we're at 953. The, um, 
uh, what's it? Our turn power call is starting at 10 o'clock. Guys, if you have not, I know Christy did. Christy, thank you for commenting on that audio. We won't say too much about the audio because um, I am Facebook friends with that person. <laughs> but uh, let's just say this. And I, and I don't want them to see this video and be like, she talking about me. But, <laughs> but let's just say this. If you guys have not listened to the audio conversation, um the audio file that I put in the WhatsApp group um, earlier today. I need you to listen to that audio. And we will just... I heard it. Okay. All right. Lord, I was like, I would have been like, uh, my son just took some stuff out the garbage <laughs> can. Gotta go. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She, she <laughs> was, she was going in. Okay. Um, oh, and also, guys, if you did not see my video from earlier today, go watch that video because I don't want you guys to do to make the same mistake I did. Okay, and we're coming up to convention, and even even in your local area, as you start to know people, people are starting to know y'all's names. People have inboxed me about certain members of the compound crew, especially for those of you who are doing this video challenge. Like I've gotten, for all of us that are doing the video challenge, I've gotten individual messages about each one of you individual messages just like wow your team is awesome i'm like i know it i know it <laughs> but as people oh, funny. yeah but as people start to know your name let me tell you something we minimize we magnify everything we magnify good stuff and bad stuff so as people start to know your name they'll be like man she's rocking and rolling she's rich and you'll be like what and then they'll start to ask you for things and so I want you guys to be postured up. Yeah, this is your TLC sister. This is your TLC brother. But they're really not your sister and brother. So don't you don't know these people. So <laughs> don't be lending anybody your tea. Don't be doing any fa favors that will put you at a detriment. Okay? And um, don't do anything. I really, we, we've got to develop our instincts to listen to our gut. Listen, your gut will never, you, you can't go wrong with your gut. When you're talking to a prospect, when you're talking to another person on the on the uh, in the company, when you're talking to anybody on Facebook, you will not go wrong if you listen to your gut. So, um, yeah, listen to that audio in the private chat if you have not already, and listen to, and watch my video about um, a mistake I made that hopefully you guys won't make. Um, and that's all I have. If nobody else has any questions, then that's it. No, that's it. Awesome souls. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, thank y'all so much for um jumping on. And I will see y'all in the WhatsApp group. Okay, have a good night. All right, y'all too. Bye. Bye. All righty. So I don't know who I still have left with me. Um, I heard some people agreeing uh, that that is how you do the opportunity call. So for those of you who jumped on late, again, this is how I do my team call. My team call is not everybody muted out and me talking. Mm -mm. We have some awesome and amazing leaders in my company. They have calls like literally almost every single day. Some leaders having a call every single day. And I plug my team. I let them decide which leader's voice resonates most with them. So some people may be more so on Stormy's call. Some people may be more so on Denise Lee's call or Bonita Lee's call or um, Build It For Your Last Name call. Um, it, it doesn't matter who you listen to. Find the person that speaks your language, that speaks in a tone that you understand and that you like, where you can really get the information. It's just like going to church, right? Everybody doesn't go to the same church. Why? Because different pastors spread the message in different ways. So you got to find a leader that resonates with you. I'm not going to get on here, though, and do some long dissertation or, you know, Shakespeare monologue, because who needs that? They don't need it. And I don't need to do it. What we really need is we need practice, 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 practice. So the compound crew training call is just that. It's a training call. Everybody's line is unmuted. Nobody is muted. It is it is structured to be like a conversation where we're all sitting around having a talk just as if they were right here in my living room. That's how comfortable I want them to feel because, my goodness, if you cannot talk, and, and practice with your family, with your team, then what's going to happen when you get out there in those streets? 
People are ruthless in the streets, right? So if you can't do it with the comfort and love and the support of your family, then it's going to be so much harder to do it out there in the streets. And I'm telling you right now, if you have a team, or even if you don't have a team, start preparing for when you do have a team. Because once you get your team, you can't just say, hey, good luck, little buddy. Go out there and get them, tiger. It's never going to happen, okay? It will always, well, I'm not going to say it's never going to happen. Some people will go out there and get them, tiger. But the majority of people, I know for me, definitely, I really started to feel more comfortable with what I was doing once I role-played different scenarios with people I trusted. And, and just because you trust somebody, it doesn't mean that you take it easy on your team. Because my team will tell you I am hard on them. I am the worst person to role-play with. <laughs> I give you a tough time and I do that so that when you really are in the real scenario nobody will be as hard as me right nobody you you can somebody say I can relate to your style I'm like that too more personal absolutely and you know what it, it builds a bond with your team they feel more confident you will start to notice more momentum more action more activity why because they're more confident so if you are not currently role playing with your team I strongly advise you to do so I have Christy Nixon who just joined on the Facebook live I don't know if she's still on but yeah my team will tell you that I've gotten nothing but great feedback from my team since doing this and even from people that aren't even on my team they have messaged me and said hey can I be a part of the compound crew training call unfortunately the answer is no <laughs> why not because I'm a meanie but just because um I need my team to get the practice. So if I invited everybody on, although I would like to, if I invited everybody on so that they could practice role playing too, I mean, we only have an hour. So if I had other people on, then that would mean I couldn't practice with my team, right? So that's why the answer is no. But I make it available to Facebook Live so that you guys can get an inside view, a sneak peek into what we do, what I'm saying, why I'm saying it, and hopefully that will indirectly help you. So anyway, guys, it's 10 o'clock. I got to go to the hour of power call. I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for joining, okay? All right, bye.